If you want to learn 3ds Max completely with V-Ray 6, Type Flow, Character Animation, After Effects, Phoenix FD Fire and Liquid Simulations, you can go ahead and take my course. Everyone, in this video, I am going to teach you how to create cloth inflation with Voronoi Fracture. So first of all, let's create an object. So our box, let's create a box and then create a type flow and then create another box like this this box will be our activator so i move it to this position okay now convert it into editable poly turn the auto key on and then animate it like this Okay, so our activator is animated. We don't want to render it, so make it not renderable and display it as a box. Okay, now click on type flow. Go to open editor. And then import this box as an object now apply Voronoi fracture to it you can see the pieces so increase the points to 50 I think 100 will be good decrease the variation to 0 Okay, now okay, we are going to use a surface test. In the surface test, pick our box. Make sure that it is checked to volume inside. And then create a new event. And now you can see what's going on. Okay, so now what we are going to do, we are going to convert the pieces into cloth bind but before converting the pieces into cloth bind we need to give these these pieces some detail so right now they have they have no more no polygons inside them so we are going to use subdivide you can see what has happened here okay and now and after subdivide we are going to use cloth bind okay and in the cloth bind we go to modify bindings and more in the modify bindings if you go down you will see inflation and check increase the inflation value to one and change the timing to continuous and now you can see the world pieces are converted into soft bodies okay now give it some flat force so this will make the particles to go in upward direction give it a small value like 0.1 okay so increase the inflation now select the tie flow go to settings enable increase the time step and then go to particle bind solver increase the steps to 25 okay and then increase the inflation a little bit more Okay, right now particles are going through each other as you can see here. So what we are going to do, we are going to use particle physics to avoid collision between the particles. 
okay i think we have to decrease the solver steps okay increase decrease the subdivide if you want Yeah, okay okay after, after selecting type flow uh, apply a relax modifier and then apply a turbo smooth and if you if you want then apply a shell modifier like this and now you can see the result okay so if you want to see the boxes if you want to see the this part so to do that copy it create a new type below paste it here and that's it copy the surface test copy this completely paste it here inside the surface test turn of geometry display and then this will happen and now you can use both of them together okay let's decrease the Verona wheel fractures to 50 do the same thing here So in this way you can create this animation. So in, in place of box, let's create a let's use a sphere like this. Okay, go to birth objects, unhide all, delete the box, and inside the birth object, pick the sphere inside the tie flow too do the same thing pick the sphere and now you can see the result so I think we have to increase the original size of the sphere so increase it and increase the box also increase the size of the box and both of them So that's it, thank you for watching. So this is my channel Zion Horizon, I upload lot of videos on Typhlow, 3ds Max and Phoenix FD. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel, I have a lot of content for you to learn and inspire from.